Did you know that a vault not only interrupts your aim, but also things like your reload? If you have bound, jump and vault to the same key, your hunter vaults over these fences here even though you could just jump over them in the most cases. The advantage of jumping is that you can stay in hipfire or even ADS mode while jumping. But even if you jump over a fence without aiming, you can get into hipfire or ADS faster since you don't have to wait for the vault animation to finish. Thus, you should definitely bind jump and vault to two different keys. But keep in mind to always try to jump over the lowest point of the obstacle while moving forward. This should be the best approach since it doesn't work as good when moving backwards or in strafe mode. There are also spots where it doesn't even work in forward movement. With a little practice you get a feeling for when to jump and when to vault. By the way, this even works on windows, though you can usually just jump on the ledge and will have to duck to fit through. It's still a time and ADS advantage compared to the vault animation. But beware, there are windows where you don't even fit through in crouch mode.